All right, welcome. You guys know what time it is. This is Precious, and we are about to get into a training on Wix. Now, this is Wix part three. I have not posted the Wix part two because I just kind of feel like it was a bit all over the place, to be honest with you, but that's okay. I am going to jam pack a lot into this next like 55 minutes. Um, because after this, we're going to roll right into our 30 day content training so we can get our content lined up for the month of February. Um, so that's going to be right after this training. So we have a fun filled couple of hours to <laughs> record, build, converse, and get it together. So we're going to go ahead and hop into this. I'm going to go, I'm, I'm logged into Wix. I am going to edit my site and for our Wix part three, I think I had it on the calendar for me to show you guys about blogging. I think that's probably what I, that's probably what I would have wanted to wrap up with. Okay. Let me just see one second. All right. It takes a while for this to load. Mm -hmm. All right, let me make sure I have the chat open. Okay, and while that's loading, we're going to go to openai.com because this is how I like to blog. <laughs> chat GPT, my blog. Continue with Google. You know who I am. All right. So I'm logging into OpenAI. I do not pay for the upgrade to ChatGPT4. So I am just using the free version that's on the internet of OpenAI. So it's like ChatGPT3 or something. Yeah, ChatGPT3.5. All right, so, all right. Um, Kathy asks, is there any way to get part two? I am going to post it because, um, my zoom is full. So I'm just going to post the part two, part two from last week. Um, you should see probably by noon tomorrow, all of the, like a lot of videos added to the YouTube channel. And my YouTube is I book, I go. All right. So, um, what is this? Why is that over there like that? This is crazy. Why is this? Okay, are there two columns here? All right, so just so you guys know, we're gonna talk through a lot. This little black dotted line is my grid line that tells me whether or not something is inside or outside of the grid line. There's only one grid line here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the layout. And I'm going to center, okay? Because since I only saw one grid line, now look, see to the left, it moves everything over there. So I'm going to actually hit undo. Okay. And let me just make sure I slow down again. So what I did is I see this little grid line and this doesn't look centered. And this is just what it looks like when I logged in. So let me go to my book I go. Um, and I update my website often. So if it just looks absolutely different to you, look at that. When did this happen? Oh, I cannot believe this has been off center. I wonder how long it's just been like that. Oh, I'm so aggravated. All right. Anyways, to fix this, I am going to click in the strip that my content is in. And I'm going to click on layout. And it's, it's telling right now that it's currently aligned to the right. I want it to be in the center. So I just moved it and now it's in the center and all is well with the world. I'm gonna go ahead and publish that. If anyone ever happens to go to my site and it looks off, please message me. And just as a friendly reminder, a lot of you guys already know this. If you want to contact me and you have questions, my phone number is the same as my Zoom number. So you can shoot me a text. You can also come to my website. Let's hit refresh because we fixed this. So 
There we go. You can also come to my website and you can click on the let's chat button and you can message me. It'll go directly to my cell phone. Like it's live chat. Okay. Um, and it's, you know, I'm easy to get a hold of. So if you guys have questions, feel free. I mean, you guys all have your own mentors. That's fine. But just from a training perspective, anyone that comes to my trainings, if you have questions, feel free to reach out because I learn when you guys ask me questions and I want to keep learning, help you help your trainer continue to learn by asking your trainer questions. Okay. All right. So we're going to go back into the back office here of, as I call it the back office, it's not the back office, but it kind of is. It's just like the testing environment, so to speak. All right. So what we are going to do is on my live web page, right? I have got my cruises um, set up here. You guys have seen my cruises page and I like it and everything, but you'll notice like for this American Queen Voyages, I'm going to remove this because Branch Up does not have a landing page for this. And all of the cruises that are on this page have expired. So this is something that needs to be deleted. Okay. You have to constantly know what's going on with your website. All right. So that's one thing that needs to go. Um, another thing that needs to be updated is when someone clicks on like Disney, that's fine because we're using the Disney API, the little mini website builder for Viking. I'm using the Viking affiliate link. So that's fine. Celebrity cruises. I'm using branch up Virgin voyages is my Virgin voyages booking link that I get from Virgin voyages and my waterways is an affiliate link. Royal Caribbean is an affiliate link. Celestial cruises is a landing page from branch up. So let's open that and just make sure I want it to open in a new tab. No. Okay. I'm clicking on it. Let's see. So I have to click on this and just make sure that the dates are like, so that's 2023. This one's 2023. This one's November, 2023. Okay. So see celestial has to go to celestial dots to go. Cause you don't want stuff that's expired and you have to, you might think to yourself, well, who's going to really see it? Like, maybe I'm not getting a lot of traffic. You'll be surprised. You are going to get more traffic on your website than you believe. So Celestial has to go and American Queen Voyages have to go. Those are both expired. I didn't get anything for January for them. And then Norwegian, I think it's actually okay. And I have to see something about this. So the link isn't working on the words. Now, why is that? But it's working on the picture. Hmm. I think Norwegian is current though. Because see, it has, it's generic. Yes. Generic, generic. This is generic. But just to be sure, we should probably check. Okay. So how do you, I get these? I just get them from branch up. So we're going to go over to branch up. Cause we're going to be making some, some changes. We're going to make updates with the links. And then I'm going to show you how to build an actual page because, um, there is not a landing page for carnival cruise lines. Um, and the page that I currently have, I don't like, so I'm coming into the Facebook app. I'm going to post and publish is going to show me the, the prior two weeks. So I'm just going to let that kind of load for a little bit, let it simmer. And I'm just going to scroll down. I'm looking for anything that says Norwegian. Intrepid travel. Caribbean. I want Norwegian cruise line or celestial before I like just delete those buttons because I don't have a landing page for them. Okay. There's celebrity. That was January 18th. So I'm going to go back over to this page.
and I'm going to click on celebrity just to make sure. And I can see here in the URL address, if, if you, it'll tell you the campaign, like see Celebrity Alaska January 2024. So I know that this is current, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, so let's go back. So, but what I want is I think I saw something for Norwegian now. Not in the past. I think there's something, let me just, I knew I should have saved it. Ooh, ALG vacations. I don't have that link for anything. Okay, image tours. Intrepid travel. I'm going quickly because I just want to get to it wherever it is. Celebrity, Camel Waterways, Virgin. These are kind of repeating. I think that they just haven't done the campaigns for everything yet because it's the beginning of the year. It's fine. So, oh, um, Armando dropped one in the chat. A link in the chat. Let's click on it. Oh, there's a Norwegian promo going on? Okay. With 50% off? Nice. All right, so I'm gonna come up here and go to my upcoming. I know I saw Norwegian because I was excited when I saw it because I know I need the link. I, you, once you start managing these things, you're gonna be like me and like, ooh, another ALG vacations. Are they both the same? Yeah, they are. Okay. Got excited for no reason. Okay. Intrepid. I know I saw Norwegian. Maybe it was on the LinkedIn one. But maybe I didn't. Because obviously I'm not finding it, which is weird. Okay, we're going to go to LinkedIn app. We're going to go to posts. Your new account posts are being created. No posts are available for your preferred vendors or you manually posted all available posts. What? Let me hit refresh. Is that a thing? I've never seen it actually do that before. Whatever. Okay, branch up. Okay, published. So it hasn't posted since, oh, today. Okay, fine. Um, Emma Waterways, Emma Waterways, Emma Waterways, G Adventures. I knew I saw Norwegian. <laughs> Okay, so this is a month ago, though. This is the one that I have. Hmm. You know, Kathy asked if I'm trying to post on my Wix page. Yes. So the concept is, is it sample itinerary that I think I can just go ahead and leave this up though. Um, I use, oh, I use the branch up landing pages on my Wix site um, because I think that they're pretty. Oh, here's another Norwegian. Is it the same though? And when you build your, when you're building your Wix site, yeah, it's the same, okay. Um, when you're building your Wix site, like when I come back over here, just so you guys understand, okay. When someone clicks on one of these things, they're gonna get my landing page. See, this is the, this, this is from my website. They click on Celebrity Cruises and bam, they're getting this which is giving them like a video, an overview of the cruise line. This is the landing page that BranchUp creates. And when you go, when you log into BranchUp, if you click on one of these posts, it will open up the landing page is going to open up in a new window. And then what you do is you take the URL and you copy it. And you go into your um, Wix site and wherever you want that to appear, you can create a button. Um, so let's first navigate. So you guys can create a button for it. Um, we're gonna go to the cruises page. You can create a button. You can also embed it. So I'm gonna show you. We can add a strip. Over here, this is a little strip button. Let's add a section button. So I can add a section. 
And I can just add a blank se section at the top. So we're going to delete this though, because I don't want this like this. But let's say I wanted to embed. I'm going to go to add elements. And then I'm going to come down here to where it says embed code. And then I'm just going to come over here to where the popular embeds are. So I can embed a site or I can embed a widget. Now there is, um, I can embed, I'm going to click embed a site. Now, right now, this is a known problem with Wix that if I drop in a website like this, that doesn't work. <laughs> but normally it does and they're fixing it. So and if you can see this widget, this is called a widget is not working because if it were working, then you would see the website there, right? So instead of doing it that way, there's a workaround, you would just create a button. Right, so I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna delete this embed window, okay? Right now, the only way you can embed code on your Wix site is if you have the iframe code. Um, and you can do that, I can show you on Canva how to get your code. Like if most websites, if you're creating something, you can, there's like a little quick button thing that you can say like embed code and that's what you would do. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna add a button, okay? just so you guys can get the gist of this. And then I'm going to see this little link button. I'm just going to click on that. And then I'm going to explain to it. Like you don't have to code. You just have to pick what you want it to do. Like, what do you want the link to do? Do you want the, do I want to link to a web address? Do I want to link to a section on my website um, where it'll just scroll down to a section that's already on this page? Do I want to link it to a different page on my website? Do I want to move it top to bottom? Do I want this button to, bring you to the top or this button to take you to the bottom, right? Um, do I want the link to link to a document? Do I want the button to make you email me or contact me on my phone number? Do I want a light box? And a light box is a pop-up. It's a pop-up. Um, a light box is going to look like, mm, I think I have a light box on my packages page actually. That's like, this is like a light box. Boom, it pops up, okay? And you notice every time I move around, you might hear the background of my phone dinging because when someone comes to my page, it does a dingy ding ding. I just turned it off. All right, so this is like a light box. It pops up. I also have light boxes on my BOGO page with my vouchers. Um, so when someone clicks on the terms and conditions, they're gonna see a light box. Cause I want it to be like a pop-up. So if someone clicks on full terms, boom, this is a light box. This is the full terms and conditions of this particular voucher. They can scroll to the top and they can X out. But I'm using, instead of creating a button and creating a whole nother page, I just thought it was faster. I don't know why I did it that way. I just, that's just how I did it. I made these light boxes. Okay. So that's what a light box is. All right, let's go back over here. So for this, I want my button to open up in a new link. So I'm just going to paste the web address right there. I want it to open in a new window. And I'm going to click done. So if I were to publish this and someone clicks on this button, then it's going to open up to that landing page. Now, why is this vital and important for you guys to know as you're building your Wix website? Well, because right now you're building your site for your travel agency. And you really kind of probably maybe not know like how you actually want your layout to be on your website. It's important that you find some travel agencies that have websites that speak to you, that you like, so you can get ideas from them. Um, make sure that they're posting stuff and they're updating their website so that that way you're constantly kind of getting fed some new ideas on ways that you can manage your site. You can always use mine as an example. I do not care if anyone copies me that is like, you know, the best compliment ever, right? So I'm good, we're, we're sharing, we're all trying to grow our businesses, so do whatever you want, okay? <laughs> but just make sure you don't take the iBook I Go stuff because, you know, that's that's my brand. Um, so if you will notice, someone comes to my cruise page, right? 
you don't know what to put on your pages, but I've told you guys in and out over and over again, where to find your content, the links. So the only thing you really need to do is just create buttons and add pictures. Okay. And you can do it in whatever format that you want, but there's plenty of stuff for you guys to put on your websites. Plenty. Now, the only thing that you need to know is how to do it. So there, you know how to create a button. All right now, how do you add an image? You can come over here to add elements and you can add, you can go to image and you can upload images. Now, if you want to upload images, you can upload images from your computer. Um, you can also download the Wix owner app and you can add images from your cell phone into that app if you want to do that. Um, but I, you know, depends on how you want to do it. I do it from all different methods. I will add images from my cell phone and I'll also add images from my desktop. So you can get images from Getty. Um, and you can also get your images from the supplier itself. Almost all of our suppliers provide us with beautiful HD 10, you know, um, 4k imagery. So you can log into the supplier, get your, you know, you can look on the internet, you know, make sure they're high resolution photos. You want, you know, the quality of the images to be really, really good. So I'm just going to add, we'll just add a picture. Okay. So I just want you guys to show you how you guys can be doing this. So like you see my button is behind here. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to move that to the back. Send it all, I'm going to send it all the way to the back. Boom. So that, that way this button is still like there, right? I'm just showing you guys some of the little navigation tips for the things you want to do. When you right click, you get this window. You can create an AI image. Those AI images in Wix are horrible. Do not try that. Okay. Just don't. They're not there yet. And I love you Wix. So please don't get mad at me for saying that, but no. That's not it. It's not where it needs to be. Um, you can edit your image. Um, we've got settings, design, crop, filters, animation. Animation is just what you want it to do when your page loads. So it's like, what do you want this element to do? Because this box is not showing up because we clicked on an image. This box is going to click anytime you right click. This is your, these are your options. So the animation, think of like when you're younger and you made a PowerPoint presentation and you were like really excited when you had like the boxes and images sliding in and sliding out and twirling around and blinking. That's what animation is. Okay. So it's still cool. It, I'm, I mean, I'm, I still think it's cool, but I don't want, you don't want too much stuff going on. I built a website once where almost every element was animated. <laughs> it took like two minutes for the page to load. <laughs> so don't do that. Okay. Just trust me. Don't do that. All right. So now we know how to add a button and you know how to add an image. Now I always say, look, you do not know your customer. Okay. You're going to think that your customer has all of the skills that you have. And that is not how the world works. So, um, on my page, I do not assume that someone's going to be able to see this says celebrity cruises and click on it. And you know, boom, I also don't assume that everything is always going to work. This is it. It's, everything doesn't always work. So you have to give your client and yourself the best bang for your buck, which means your button should be linkable to whatever it is and your image should be linkable to whatever it is. So I'm gonna select the limit, the image. You see how it's all covered, it's like highlighted and I can hit my little link button, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing with that. I'm gonna paste the same URL there so if I publish this, then the button links to that landing page and the image links to that landing page. And then let's say I want to add a text box. Okay, so let me just click out. I'm gonna drag this down. Or maybe I like this button and this image together and I want them to stay together. I'm going to hit the shift key. No, the, yeah, the shift key. And you see now I can group the elements. Now I can just move one, I can drag and touch one thing and they are, they're married now. 
they got married. My button and my image got married. I wish you a very good life, although you're going to be deleted in a minute. So enjoy it while it lasts. So we're going to go over here to the add element section. I'm going to add a text box. So I'm just going to click add header. I can come up here and I can double click to edit the text or I can select edit text right here and I can put, you know, Norwegian. So hopefully I spelled that right. I can even make the Norwegian link to the landing page. I can just select that box and click link. I can make sure all three things link to the landing page. Go all out with it. Everything is clickable. Bam. So if I were to publish this, the Norwegian would be clickable. The image would be clickable. The button would be clickable. Like <laughs> You can't fail. All right. So this is just an example. So these tips that I'm giving you right now are going to help you as you're building your site, because I want you guys to be able to actually have content on your site, right? So now let's say you want to add, I'm going to delete this in this section. So I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to right click. Actually. There. All right. I deleted it. All right, so now the things that I don't like about my page right now are that my American Queen voyages and my Celestial Cruises landing pages are outdated. So that's something I need to work on. And then something else I want to work on, which I'm going to do this first because I want you guys to know how to build a page. So um, Carnival Cruise Lines, my page for Carnival Cruise Lines is okay. Like this isn't bad. See, I added some animation there. I've got like this video and I've got these buttons. So this isn't, this isn't bad. Yeah, this really actually isn't that bad. So maybe I'll make an American Queen Wages page instead. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's what I'll do. All right, so anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to American Queen Voyages. For some reason, I don't know why I thought that I had, let me just click on cruise. Go to the travel agent portal. Okay. Log in. Okay. So I do not have a landing page from Branch Up for American Queen Voyages, so cry me a river. I'm sad. All right. So we're going to go back over here and I'm going to build a page so that this can link to that since I have them on my website. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pages and I can go to manage pages on the bottom and I can click add a page. So now it's going to ask me underneath the ad page because it really wants to help me. It wants to help me help myself. Okay. So you can do an about page. You can do a services page. You can do a projects page. Now, when I'm looking at this, what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the layout. I don't really care what the heck it says. I just like this services grid page. I love this for building an itinerary. Like that is perfect for an itinerary. Um, so, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do because I have no idea what we're, I don't know what we're creating right now. This is live. I'm coming up with this right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the supplier. In this case, the supplier is American Queen Voyages. So it's so like we've got the travel advisor hub, enjoy easy access to American Queen Voyage collateral materials available to you 24-7 to support your marketing efforts. So let's see, additional resources, tools, trainings, and tips, marketing collateral. I'm gonna start with the marketing collateral and see what we got. So I'm gonna go to co-op marketing first because that sounds good. Oh, um, okay, you're committed to helping me grow my business. That sounds good, right? A tar you'll create a targeted campaign. Okay, hmm. That sounds like you're charging me for that. Don't like that. Nope, nope, nope. All right, so let's go to digital assets. I'm 
I don't know why Google Translate popped up with like the Italian thing. It's not going to go into Italian, is it? No. Okay. All right. So these are my digital assets. It's got videos. I've got short excursions, lifestyle. Okay, let's click on, let's go to food. See what happens. Oh, it's got all kinds of images and stuff. Okay, this is perfect. Um, so I like that it has all of this. Let's go click on lifestyle and see what's going on with lifestyle. Oh, okay. All right. Well, this got me set up for success here. But the only thing is, is there, there aren't any words. So we've got logos. We have logos, yep. We've got the deck plans, yep. Most customers don't know how to read the deck plans though, so I don't bother with adding that. We've got videos, the destinations. Okay, meet the fleet. What's that? Oh, cool, okay, I like that. Meet Ocean Victory, meet American Queen, meet American Empress, meet, okay. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna download this. I already from seeing this realized that I'm just gonna click download in the lower right corner. So I'm gonna click download, click download in the lower right corner. I wanna show you guys how quick this can be. Like, honestly, this can be fast. Because the supplier gives you so much stuff. So I already know that I like this. Meet the fleet is cute. They can watch a video with the ships. Okay. And there aren't that many. So I like that. So I'm going to go back over here to my page. I already now know that my page is going to have a carousel, a video gallery on it. Um, I think I like this, I like the way this looks. This is cute. I'm adding it. Add page. Preparing the content. You do that, Wix. Get it together for me. So I'm going to go back over to American Clean Voyages. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to go to my logos. I'm going to be uploading a bunch of stuff here. So let's just drag this page really close to my Wix editor. There we go. That way I can just click back and forth like that. All right. So. I know that I want to add a gallery on this page. I don't know where, but I think I want it to be somewhere in the beginning. So before I get to there though, I need words. So let's see what American Queen Voyages is saying about itself. Oh, I like the way they have their page set up. This is cute. I can just copy this. Okay, find a voyage, exclusive offers and special highlights. They've got themed cruises and special events, discover our destinations. I like the way that they have it. Like you see it, look, picture words, picture words. That's that same layout that we just saw on one of the pages, right? And as you can tell on this website, where it says discover our destinations, this is a strip with a drop down box in it, see? So as, this, as the divide is occurring from top to bottom, these are strips. You see, find a voyage. There's a new strip, discover our destinations. There's a new strip, entertainment and enrichment. This is a whole section. Oh, look, all-inclusive fares include. I like this. For river cruises only. This thing that just popped up is a light box, okay? Let's close that light box out. This is cute. Okay, we're stealing that, if that's cute. All right, so what I'm going to do is I put my little sticky note over here. Okay. So I grab a screenshot and I'm gonna paste that. And then that way I can save um, this image. So I'm gonna say AQV icons. All right. 
Um, and then I could I could always like save these images too, but I don't need to worry about that because I have the the um I have got the the horn blower thing where I can just download whatever I want, right? But the what I don't have in here is the words like you noticing it just has the pictures. It doesn't have any words. We need words. Like. This is interesting. I don't know about this. I don't want to, like, what is going on in these pictures? Okay, I don't want to get distracted. I'm just gonna put this on here. I'm just gonna build this out. I'm just gonna build it. I'm just gonna build it. What is going on? Are you guys wondering, like, what is going on? Okay. All right, so we do need the logo though. So let's go to the logos folder and I'm gonna download, which one do I want? Do I want it to be flat? And okay, yeah, I do. All right, so we have a logo. I know I don't want the deck plans. We've got river vessels, Duchess, Empress, Queen, Countess. Okay, so we've got the food on the ship, public spaces. This is like giving me like a colonial vibe. American Empress. Oh, I have to admit that I'm not liking this at all, <laughs> but I'm still going to put it on there because you'd be surprised people that really love like that colonial looking like river boat experience. They like American Queen Voyages. They do. And um, they have really cool itineraries, especially if you don't want to like go all over the place. So we, I need it on my website. So, all right. So I'm just going to delete that now i know i need some pictures so we'll start there we'll go back to my horn blower um i just need a couple of good pictures Oh, these are cute. Hmm. Please enter name. Oh, I don't want to do the whole zip file. Let me just open it up. So what I did was I didn't want to download more than 50 pictures in a zip file, so I double clicked. And just Okay, so now I'm in here, I can pick pictures. So I'm gonna do this one. I don't need a bunch of them. I probably need about 10. So, I mean, this people are gonna like. One, two, we'll download that. I want things that make it all look very posh. One, two, three stuff that people will like like okay I, I how is that the is that the pool that's not the pool I can't I mean it looks like it is but I just am not believing it so this is interesting the grand saloon the grand saloon okay and people like to sit out on the deck so we'll do this All right, I think that's enough. I guess I should do a picture of this. This That can't be the pool though. I'm not putting that on there. They're gonna find out about that pool when they get on the ship. <laughs> okay. We do need pictures of the suite, right? This is the spa. And are there any pictures of the rooms? Okay, so. Do, 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 public spaces, lifestyle, deck plans, service and crew. Let's go to lifestyle. Lifestyle is going to have them enjoying themselves. All right. You know, this is feeling like a, like a, a house at sea, which is a different vibe. 
I'm not, it's not, it's not a bad vibe. It's like a neighborhood at sea or something. It's like, it's very different. I can already like, you can get the vibe here from these pictures. Like it's interesting. All right. Logos, deck plans, videos, shore excursions, service and crew, culinary and wine, entertainment. Where are, oh, sweets. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I think I have enough images. So let's just go ahead and get to adding. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to change this column background. And when I go in here to image and I want to upload media, I'm just going to actually take this moment to upload a lot of my pictures at once. So I'm going to see downloads. All right. I'm going to go all the way down everything that I have right here. I'm just going to upload it all at one time because that just makes it easier. There's a file that's too big. Okay. Fine. And while that is loading, I can click on site files. I can just scroll down here and the images will be popping up as they're uploaded. Joyful. See? Um, they're loading up. So I know what I want is that I want to start off with that like wheel photo of the wheel. Okay, so I'm gonna add this. No, I'm gonna add the wheel. All right, so I click that and I click change background and bam, there we go. Now I want to add a picture of the logo. So I'm just gonna to go to add elements. I'm gonna to go to image and the most recent things that I've added, we're gonna show right here. I can even show more, so I don't have to, um, this pop-up will come up over there, but I can add my most recent from this little window. So I'm just gonna click on the logo. And I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna have it like that, I'm okay with this. I will change this background to be change column background. I want it to be white. Oops. So in order to make the background white, I'm just gonna go to color and then I can just select which color I want. So I want that to be that, I want that to be white and I also want the strip, there's like the section background to be white as well. So I'm gonna change my section background color to white. And then I will just add some text that I'm going to grab from the website itself. And then later I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to add the stuff that I have found. I can put it in sections. If I'm lost on my design, then I can just come over here to the American Queen site for my inspiration. See, I've got tons of words in here. I can just literally, I can really just make this page, which is what I'm most likely going to do. All right, so now we know how to do that. Now let's say you want to do your blogging. So I'm gonna come over here to my blog page. Um, when I do my blog, it is so easy because I use um, ChatGPT. So I'm gonna come over here to my blog. Kathy asked, did I make the page just for that one cruise line? Yes, I did. Because remember, this is how my site is set up. Now you can do it any way you want. But most of, I have this cruise page, right? I stick the cruise lines with the buttons and images on this one page. I consider this to be like my cruise page. And then from this page, I have pop-ups, like the button, might click, might open up a branch up landing page. 
or the button might open up a booking link, right? If I don't have a branch up landing page and I don't have a booking link, then I need to create a page myself like I did for Carnival Cruise Lines. So if someone clicks on it, then it comes to this Carnival page, but this is like the Carnival page that I made. And then what I do is in my menu, I just make it a sub page. So you can see if you come over here to cruises, Okay, maybe. Um, do I only have this Disney cruise page? Cruise landing page. Okay, yeah. It might not have been in the right spot. Let me just open this back up before I delete it. All right, so yeah, there we go. So then I have my cruise page and then I've got buttons so you won't see those pages. So I have a Disney cruise deals page and I have a Carnival cruise landing page. And you won't see that landing page on my menu because I have it hidden, which is what that little, you can right click on it and then you can hide, you can show or hide the page. So the only way someone will navigate to this page is if they click where I tell them to click in order to get to the page. So for your blog, I'm gonna go to my little blog. What I normally do, and I'm gonna have a training on this next month, blogging that will go into depth about this on like how to set it up and everything. But honestly, it's pretty self-explanatory, the setup. You get to pick your layout. You can manage your posts. Like literally just fooling around in here, you are going to figure this out. This is, but what I do is I have like, see, this is two days ago. This is January 13th. That says January 9th. Um, maybe I actually want it to show more. Let me scroll down. Because right now it's only showing three posts at a time. I'm gonna click my settings. So display, I'm gonna go to my layout. I like this editorial look, but for design, I want there to be more than three posts. Hmm. But this is just, this moment that we're having right now, this blog is just a teaser because I'm actually gonna do a full blown hour on how to set up your blog. So this is just to tease you, this is to tease you. So I'm gonna click create a post. Normally when I create posts, I do it from, my iPad, but this thing is like frozen. What did I do? All right, well, you know, it takes forever for it to load. So while it's loading, we're going to go over here. What are trending travel blog posts about in January, 2024? Top travel trends for 2024, Zoom. All right, balancing budgets with benefits of travel. Hmm. Even during times of financial anxiety, Travel has held a consistent share of American wallets. Enthusiasm for in-destination activities, blah, 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 blah. Travel frequency and certain indulgences may see a decline. Hmm. But if higher income groups are relatively insulated from economic headwinds, oh, this is just way too much. I want to know what the popular blogs are about. The biggest travel trends to expect in 2024. That sounds good. I actually like that title, period. So I'm going to go to OpenAI. Boop. Boop. 
does a act as a popular and popular blog. Ooh, no, 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 no. Travel. Travel blog writer. A three minute travel blog about the top trends. Travel trends of 2024. Make it witty and funny and engaging. I can add a whole bunch of ants. My prompt does not have to be correct grammatically or anything. Make it witty and fun and engaging so that readers will want to subscribe to my blog. You know what to do, chat GPT. Do your thing. Thank you. Now I'm just gonna copy that. See how I hit that little copy button? And I'm gonna come over here to my blog. I'm gonna click create new post. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna paste it. Doot. So it says opening shot of me sipping a coconut on a pristine beach. Then it says cut to a montage of futuristic futuristic destinations. Then it says transition to a bustling street food market. You see, it tells you what the pictures are supposed to be. So what I do is I'm going to save this as a draft because I'm going to come back here and these are the photos I'm going to find and I'm going to put them in here and I am going to blog, right? But that's what I do. And then instead of, let me put my little title Top travel trends of 2024. Um, I can save it as a draft, which I'm going to do right now because I'm going to come back to this. But just so you guys know, when I teach you guys how to do this whole blogging thing, you'll be able to schedule your posts for later, right? So I had like five or six posts posts for January, but I did this like at the end of December. So mid February, we're going to go over this. My calendar is going to be posted soon. So we are only one minute shy of doing our 30 day content for February. So let me go ahead and just close out this one right here. Dude. And we can do our uh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. If anyone's watching the replay, I just want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, you know, all of the things that you should be doing if you like my content, because not only does it encourage me to continue training, but I want to get my YouTube monetized. Hello. All right. I'm going to stop this recording because 30 day content is coming up in less than like 60 seconds. So let's go ahead and stop this one.